yes 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 hey guys welcome to today's video we are going to be getting our hands into every single item in this new elf collection i feel so spectacularly themed out this collection is available exclusively at target it is called game up it is game themed it's very electric this is not sponsored it's just been a hot minute since i have done a dedicated elf video and you guys have requested that more than anything uh you also are requesting some other things because i put my feelers out there over on ig follow me at glam life guru i kind of took you a little bit shopping with me to my super target that has an ulta in it and read through all of your requests and elf has been like hi 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 up on the list so we're doing this i'm excited for so many reasons can we just talk about how my dress also from target how much did I pay for this? It's by uh, Wild Fable for $28. Oh my gosh. I will do a modeling moment for you guys at the end. It is guaranteed to be super cheesy because I'm not a fashion blogger or vlogger by any means, but I love a good find, right? Let's just get going. Uh, and in good old Tati fashion, we're gonna start with one item that is not a part of this collection, but it is from e.l.f. and it surprisingly is hanging on the end cap display with this collection. So I was like, you know what? Get in my basket, why not? Okay, wow. All I have to say about this, I tried it yesterday for the first time and it is like, um, uh, how do I say this politely? Cause it's good, I do like this. When they say power grip, it's not just like cover FX. You know how we were kind of all into that like gripping primer, which is a really good one that I used to obsess over. This is like uh, glue. It feels so sticky, but it's oddly satisfying. And you do feel like when you go in to do your foundation that everything is just kind of stuck and clung to it. I had a really excellent makeup day yesterday. I was like, okay, I'm missing a few elements to this collection. I wanna do the full meal deal, so I'm gonna hold off on filming. But I still played with a few things and I practiced a look um, that I, for me was really unexpected because I am not, the kind of girl that does like blue liner on top of the black graphic moment. Let's get some rhinestones on it. You know, like, hey, I'm here at home cleaning and just doing what I do. So it doesn't always feel like necessary or appropriate, but I just got like thrusted with inspiration and I went for it. And let me tell you, I felt so beautiful and I loved my makeup. It helped me to just feel like all this creativity was just completely unleashed and kind of brought up a little bit of an appetite. Like, oh, like, <laughs> Like you still got it, you know? Like for uh, for those of us that are looking at the eye shape changing and you're like, oh my gosh, my eyes, like can I still handle a wing? Or you're like, oh, I look ridiculous. I'm too old for this. Um, No, play. Let that creativity still shine through you. You'll be surprised, you know, when you have the time, when you're in the mood for it, go to town. And I don't know, I kind of was like, oh, Okay, I still have it. This is cute. So I'm gonna recreate that look today. We're gonna go ahead and just pop on a little bit of this face glue, AKA Power Grip Primer. Say a prayer. I have not read the ingredients. So what's sticky in here? I can't wait to put jewelry on with my outfit. All right, what do we want to, you know what? I am gonna do this, it matches. I'm in this whole like themed mood. I hope you guys saw my creamy, dreamy makeup. Get ready with me, I will link it below. Oh wait, no, I wanted to do one more. Oh, this kind of goes hand in hand, vitamin C and more vitamin C. So this is from e.l.f. This is the C Bright Putty Primer with 2% vitamin C. I actually really appreciate that they put the percentage on the front. I like it when brands do that. I have a mirror kind of off in the distance right here. I'm using my Elios mirrors, you guys, as my lighting in my studio. I don't even have like the big lights anymore. I just have two of these little mirrors. It's kind of funny. It has a light scent to it. I'm too far away to know if that did anything at all, but we are now primed. We're gonna go in the camo CC cream. Love this. I love this. I do love this. You know what? I can't do this without a mirror. Hold up. Okay. 
I'm back with a mirror that really needs to be polished. Oh my gosh, please don't judge me. So now we can chat while I am erasing my problem areas. I have worn this foundation over and over and over and over and it has not made me break out. Now, a lot of people are saying this is a dupe for the um, IT Cosmetics CC and I feel it is. I feel like I always really wanted to get in on this kind of a product, but it usually always broke me out and I am shocked, you guys, like shocked. This has not like clogged my pores or anything. I really love it. So now that I'm kind of back into e.l.f., like this did it, like using this one product and me loving it so much, I just kind of was like, well, maybe we need to revisit like everything, you know? And you guys, literally every other message when I asked you guys, what should I try? I'm going to Target. Every other response was the Halo Glow, Halo Glow, Halo Glow, Halo Glow, which I love the name of that. Hello, hashtag Halo Glow. Halo Beauty is my jam. I just took my anti-aging booster, my Sakura this morning before filming. And let me tell you, it'll do miraculous things. You know, we gotta have beauty from the inside and then do a little on the outside. So I love that name. I love seeing it pop up. And I'm like, I really wanna try that. I looked at Target, I looked at Ulta, and then finally realized uh, you can only order it online right now. So I am gonna order it and then we will try it out. I did get the Halo Glow setting powder. So we'll do another e.l.f. video or like drugstore video very, very soon. I also repurchased another old fave. I did a full day wear test, dedicated video to this a long while back. And I used to obsess over this concealer. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Can I, do you guys wanna talk like just like behind the scenes, like a little bit of scandal, whatever. I personally started feeling weird about e.l.f. products. Like there were some significant rumors about certain pieces being manufactured in North Korea. I don't know why that just made me go, yikes. Like uh, you have to be careful even with known brand names as far as where they're manufactured, how they're manufactured. Like people are having like issues with certain products and it just kind of honestly turned me off. I was like, well, there's gotta, I don't know, like there's gotta be a reason that it's as inexpensive as it is. And I don't know how I feel about this anymore. And I'm gonna stop talking and just start blending. But for more than a minute, I was kind of turned off by cosmetics altogether. I just could find fault in everything. And now I'm kind of inching my way back and going, okay, let's not totally villainize every single brand. No brand is gonna get it like slam dunk perfect. Let's still be wise about selecting what feels good to align with, but, yeah, I kind of went through this phase where I was like, everything is terrible. And now I'm back to just like, hey, relax a little, you know? Enjoy your $6 concealer if it works, you know? Don't hold me to it. I could change my mind next week. This could happen, but we learn and grow and change and grow and grow some more and change some more and that's life. Okay, that is such a canceling good concealer though. And just because I am gonna dive on into this e.l.f. camo powder foundation. I got a darker shade of the e.l.f. Cam camo. <laughs> the e.l.f. camo powder foundation. I have this shade tan 425 neutral bronze. Oh no, this is, is this a bronzer? We're gonna make it bronzer. Going on nice though. Look at that. Okay, I got up a little too high and that looks a little muddy. Shoot. Emergency, emergency. This is like a ridiculously blendable, good bronzer and it's not even sold as a bronzer. So what I recommend if you're gonna do powder foundation, like you want something a little more coveragey for your bronzer, you can do that. Just go a shade or two or three down from your normal color. I'm gonna scoot you in. 
Oof. You're personal now. Uh, okay. Let's do it. I need eyebrows. <laughs> really bad. I'm going to do that uh, off camera and boom, I will be back with brows. Okay. Um, I am moderately satisfied with my brows, which means it is time to move on. I do want to get something going on my lips because they're starting to feel a little bit dry. So I'm going to go in with one of my favorite liners. It's discontinued. Oh no. I'm going to try and find a dupe for this. This is Alexa Vogel and Smooch. I do want to go in with a very juicy gloss. There are three of them in the Game Up collection. I may put down something whoop, a little more nude first, just because of the brightness of the look that we're going for. I really don't want anything too dark. I oh, love like a 90s lip. That is what I'm all about right now. I would likely if this were not a review day, I'd probably just leave it as is. And just to let you guys know, this is the color Whisper from Nude Sticks. So we're gonna go in with One Up Elf and the shade is Next Level. And this is said to be a gloss slash mask. Oh my gosh, that has more, well, I was worried for a moment. It's just a tint has hyaluronic acid as an ingredient to help plump up the lips. Nice and shiny, nice and comfortable. Kind of has just like a Vaseline texture to it. Smells minty. I'm gonna assume if the red one is minty, it is likely that they all are. Here's the blue one, which is called Blue Rush. Okay, now we have the orange one, which will make your teeth look Yellower. Royal Peach. I'm not typically an orange kind of a fan. And then we have Hidden Treasure. And that just looks disgusting. I'm gonna go ahead and say it looks like someone sneezed on my hand. Not really a fan of the yellow, but I do like this balmy texture to it. I love hyaluronic acid as an ingredient. These are six bucks. It's themed out, it's fun, colorful. The applicator is nice. So everything about it, I do enjoy. The first thing I'm gonna do is take this bronzer and just frame up the crease. Just a little bit will do it. Oh my gosh, I make really weird makeup faces. I literally, I can't help it. Just don't even bother leaving a comment about it. I'm already so aware, so painfully aware. Like, like I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Pretty good for nose contour in this lighting. I might change my mind uh, elsewhere. A little hard to blend. I prefer cream for contouring and then going over with a little foundation, but I just kind of wanted to try this out. We're ready for liner. <laughs> okay. So. I did this yesterday, I can do it again. We're gonna take the e.l.f. Game Up I Win Eyeliner Pot in Reboot. And I had purchased two black eye pots, so I did go ahead and try this for the first time yesterday. And actually I am gonna go back into the one that I used and just save this. I already off the jump love this liner. I love it. It's easy to work with. It is budge proof. And when I say budge proof, I mean, I had to drench cotton swabs in oil to really get all of this off. It just locks in tight. That does mean that you do need to work a little bit quickly, which can be stressful, but try to take a deep breath, calm yourself, calm your, your shakiness in your hand. And uh, remember that there are makeup wipes, removers, and if you really goof up, you can always clean wherever you kind of went outside of what you thought you were doing. All right, so we're gonna go in and I'm gonna start over in the inner corner. Trying to keep this pretty thin. And now I'm gonna look kind of straight dead on in my mirror. 
And it's almost like I want the line to go like all the way kind of flat out. Whew, I did it. Okay, now I go back in and perfect. Okay, this always happens to me. One gets just a little bit thicker than the other. It's okay. I like to kind of tilt back actually, and I can see like this edge needs to be cleaned up and I can make this a little bit thicker over here. Pretty good, I'm pretty happy. I feel confident about this, I like it. From here, we're gonna go into blue and put this on top of the black. And the shade name of this is lag. Oh, like a gaming lag, I don't know. And if you get a little bit on the black line, fear not, we can fix that. And then right on this edge here, I'm gonna go and fill that in. Just kind of take small strokes. And now we're gonna go in with the purple and this is called Good Game. All right, I'm gonna wipe this brush off of the blue, get in the purple and just kind of go right in that center down to the blue. Yes. So I'm gonna let everything set. And then once I have my mascara and lashes on, I can go back in with an angled brush and a little bit more of the black gel liner and just sharpen everything up to make sure there's no balding or unevenness. And that has worked really well for me with this type of a look. Let's open this up. This is the e.l.f. Game Up 300 points kit. We do have eye brushes in here. These are good quality. Like the, the feeling of them, they're not, they don't feel cheap. There's a little bit of a weight to it. We're gonna crack in. I don't really know how many of these shades we're gonna use, but I wanted the full collection and I wanted to be able to swatch this for you guys and give a little bit of a first impressions. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh. We're in. Now that I'm in here, and I love the simplicity of the kind of crazy graphic liner with not much else, but also, should we put some neon, neon green in the inner corner? Wait, what? Lately I'm doing this thing where this accent just like jumps out of nowhere and it surprises me. Like I'm like, whoa, like what is that? Um, so we're gonna take some neon green. Yeah, let's just go there. Let's just. <laughs> Just do it. Let's see how wild and weird we can get this makeup look. It looks really pretty. I do love this color. So. Oh my gosh, suddenly I'm just like ready for summer. I'm ready, I'm ready to be at a barbecue in Texas. I don't know if this would be the outfit, but I'm ready to be like, hey, let's be outside and hang out and eat good food. I love how that looks. Potency is high. Let's have a swatch sesh. Ooh. Shall we kick it up a notch with the metallics? This is like a nice blue. Oh, wow. Love. Let's just like swatch her up. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's like I forgot what I was doing. You know, that happens sometimes. So we have a little bit of the shadow, which the quality is here. Like I am gonna play with this more. I'm happy I tracked it down. Swatching it just immediately it makes me want to use it. Oh my gosh, should I like be this woman? And put, I don't wanna put stickers on me. I just, do I, do I wanna do it? This is what people do. Whoa, mm -hmm. James just walked in. Um, I don't know who I think I am or where I'm going, but. Nice. Thank you. Lost my jewel. Okay, so the thing about the jewels is you have to make them even. Okay, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. 
I'm struggling a little bit. I will likely not leave those, but I don't know, it's kind of fun for like right now, right? Um, okay, where were we? Where were we? Blend that out a little bit. You gotta be careful. This cream shadow will transfer if you're not careful. Mascara, we are gonna go in with the Big Mood and Lifting Waterproof. Yo, I liked this mascara the first time I tried it in the regular formula. I feel like nothing is getting on my lashes. What is up with that? Okay. Um, I need a different mascara. Pop on some lashes. All right, you guys, let's recap and set the face. I zoom the camera back out. We're ready to just do an excessive spritzing. Now this setting mist is actually the same one as this guy right here. The Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. No, this one is called the Shield Me. I thought they were the same. Similar ingredients. Uh, either way, we're gonna go in with this one because I have it right in front of me and it's new and it's part of this collection, which I do have to say I really, really love. I could definitely spend more time in a magnified mirror perfecting the liner. It is a bit of a challenge to do on camera. I feel like it came out a little bit better yesterday, which is such a bummer, but it's a new technique that I'm trying and I'm kind of in the mode right now where yes, my day-to-day -day is very natural and not too loud, but when it comes to sitting down and just enjoying the process of makeup, that's the time when I really want to get into a different mind frame with new techniques. So let me know if there's a trend that you want me to try and explore just for fun. I'm so down to do that. Let's go ahead and set the face. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I love that mister on there is so nice. Let's do the rundown. I didn't show the e.l.f. Game Up nail kit to you guys just yet. Now this I have mixed thoughts on. I don't think it's worth $15. I just think there are better polishes out there. You don't get a ton in each shade. I swatched on my nails, I think more than half of this collection, trying to figure out like how I wanted to paint my nails. Um, the orange one does not come out as creamy as you would think. It's like kind of an ugly orange, you know? The blue I really love. It's a little gloppy, a little tricky to paint, but it is budge proof. Like I have done dishes, scrubbed, cleaned, and nothing has chipped, which is really, really impressive. So mixed feelings on this one. If you really love the colors, go for it. If not, you know, maybe find something else. Everything else with the exception of the waterproof mascara, which is so strange to me, where did you go? Um, big disaster, big disappointment. This in the original tube, the purple tube is beautiful. However, the waterproof, I just like couldn't build it up. So this has got to go, but everything else is staying. Love that bronzer, love the primers, love the cream liners. I absolutely am excited about the shadow palette. I'm super happy I tracked it down. Even the little brush kit with the jewels is super cute. Just everything A to Z surprised me in the best way. And I'm happy I got to play with this stuff and take you along through the journey with me. I'm gonna give you a look at my outfit before we leave as promised. I feel so themed out right now. So this is the $28 Target dress that I bought this morning to match the collection. And I don't know where I would wear this look, but it sure was fun getting ready and kind of going a little more over the top. Let me know what your thoughts are about this collection and makeup look. Leave me some comments below and make sure you thumbs up the video, subscribe, ring the bell before you leave. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.